Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. We have a fun video today. I am doing a kind of wildflower botanical book haul. Um, and if you're new to my channel, you might not know, I use books, I repurpose them and use the book pages in journals that I make and embellishments and other little crafty things. So these books are definitely all getting cut up and I know that that really hurts some people. But I'm sorry, I'm giving them new life, I promise. Now, when I was looking to get some new wildflower and like floral books, the hardest part, I'm buying most of these secondhand, but the hardest part is not knowing really what's inside, not knowing if there's a good amount of illustrated, you know, pictures, and that's mostly what I am looking for. So today I'm gonna go through, do an overview, show you everything that I got, but then I'm gonna go back through and try to do a flip through um, of each one, probably rather quick because we'll be here all day, but I have um, lots to go through. So I got majority of these books from Thrift Books and I will leave a link down below. It's like a rewards link. So like if you use my link, you'll get like, I don't remember if it's a free book or an amount, some kind of like points that go towards a free book. I kind of forget, but check it down below because if you haven't ordered from there, that will be helpful. These books are pretty ex uh, inexpensive. I almost said expensive. And I just keep my eye on the ones that I want and I try not to spend over like three or four dollars per book. Some of them I will go a little more than that. But anyways, I have a few from actually Amazon too and I was really surprised that Amazon had some of the ones I was looking for, the Flower Fairy books. But again, we'll go through them and let's get started. So I got this one right here. So like I said, I'm gonna do an overview first and then we'll come back through and flip through. This is Eastern North America's Wildflowers. Now, again, I just kind of guessed on which ones might have illustrations. Some of them will say if they do or don't. Hummingbirds and Butterflies. I also did look on YouTube because sometimes you'll find some books on YouTube. Um, this is a book of wildflowers. If I can, I'll try to leave all of the names down below in case you want one, you can search for it easier. This is uh, Science Nature Guides Wildflowers. I haven't even flipped through all of them myself. This is Garden Flowers. And again, if I can leave you know, the exact name down below, it'll be just, we don't have to worry about going over author and stuff right now. Usborn's, Us, Usborn Spotter's Guide. Wildflowers of North America. I was a little surprised on this one because it was so small and that's another thing. You just never really know. Um, but I think that it was a good good choice because there are some good um, images in here. This is Flower Fairies of Wayside. I tried to get a bunch of these books because I'm using them for my May Patreon mail project. Flower Fairies of the Summer. This one's a hardback. Um, and then Flower Fairies Treasured Photographs. Now, I'm probably going to list this one in my Etsy shop because sadly it's not exactly what I wanted it. It's a gorgeous book. Um, I grabbed this one because I wanted to buy this one, couldn't find it. Field Guide to the Wildflowers. And I used all the pages, but I'm just here to tell you that this one, if you can get your hands on it, has the most gorgeous um, illustrations and really, really good if you're wanting to cut out individual flowers to use for ephemera. So I just had to throw that in. I did get it from Thrift Books long ago when I got it. Then the ones that I got from Amazon, Flower Fairies of Spring. And I think three of these were um, secondhand. And then this one I think was brand new. And I didn't know what I was really getting when I <laughs> ordered them. But Flower Fairies of Spring and Flower Fairies of the Garden. These are smaller books, but they're gonna be great for what I'm using. And then a naturalist, a naturalist book of wildflowers. Okay, let's just start here and then we'll go through. And like I said, I'm gonna flip through rather quick. If there's one that you want to see and have me go slower, I'll do a whole video on just that book. So let me know down below. Try to make sure that, okay. So there's this one didn't have as many um, this one did not have as many illustrations as I hoped for, but I'll probably end up keeping it because I can absolutely use it. I like that the pages are matte because most pages are usually going to be glossy. So I'm probably going to keep it just because it's matte and I don't feel like returning it because I'm lazy. <laughs> I do prefer secondhand books though, especially if I'm going to be cutting them up, but I do like these types of pages here. 
So I'm gonna go just a little faster, but that way you can hopefully see. So, I mean, yeah. There are some really pretty images, so. I do think I paid maybe more like $8 for this one. And I don't, I can't be sure. I'm just pretty sure that it was closer to eight. It was more, it was uh, more expensive. And that's probably because it was a new book also. But I was kind of just wanting to test out buying books on Amazon. And I didn't know at the time that you could also buy used books. Okay. So actually now that I'm flipping through it, I gotta say, I'm actually pretty excited to use this book, especially again, because it's matte, it's hard to find matte books. And there are more illustrated pictures than I thought. Okay, let's do Flower Fairies of the Summer. If you want me to do a whole video on, because I actually have more Flower Fairy books coming, like four, or no, like six more, I think. I have six more. They, some of them are gonna be repeats. But if you want me to do a whole video just slowly flipping through all of the Flower Fairy books that I have, I can do that. Because I think I would have liked to see that. And there might be some on YouTube, but I just couldn't find them. Flower Fairies of Wayside. Again, this is a small book, but for me, I'm going to be using these and turning these images into um, tags or journal cards. So it's actually the perfect size because if they were the bigger images, then that wouldn't really work for me and I'd have to cut down a lot of stuff. Uh, let's stick to the flower fairy themes. This is the garden. So these images are just gorgeous. These are glossy, but sorry, it's really hard to figure out. So there we go. This one's flower fairies of spring. I'm gonna wanna keep all of these, I just know it. So pretty. Like, gosh, they're just so dainty and, oh man, they're just so pretty. Now this one's Flower Fairies of Spring too. It's a bigger version, so I don't know what the difference is there, but let's flip through. So see, these images are a bit bigger. I'll still be able to use them and they'll be really great in journals, but uh, maybe more for like pockets or something like that. Um, let's see, so let's set these to the side. <clears throat> Wildflowers of North America. So like I said, this was smaller than I thought that it was going to be because on the picture they always just look bigger, but I think it will be really great for either using, um, using the full page as a pocket or still cutting out because every single page has illustrated pictures. So that, I'm happy with that. Yeah, especially I always love the yellows. Again, somewhat glossy, not as glossy as some of them. Garden flowers. I'm just gonna, now, okay, these are matte, so let's see. The only thing is, is these are gonna be bigger images. Um, if you're curious, I'll just tell you what size this is. It's probably about seven and a half inches by almost 10 inches, so they are bigger. But again, it's matte, so I oh, so gorgeous. These could be great for journal covers, I would think, or, oh wow, or, you know, bigger pockets, or trimming down to use as collage, but I can never, oh boy. Okay, yeah, I mean, even though these are bigger, they are really gorgeous, and there is a ton. This is just making me so excited. I love being able to repurpose, oh my gosh. Like, I just want to make a journal cover out of that right there. So many, oh my goodness. See, I could sit here and, all day and just flip through super slow for you guys. Oh, that is just pretty. I call it, I call dibs. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. This is Science Nature Guides Wildflowers. Oops, sorry, it's very glossy front. You can see what the, the other cover is glossy as well, the real cover. So let's see what this one's all about. Okay, this is definitely kind of what I am searching for when I'm wanting to cut them out and use as, you know, more like embellishments for little projects. I like this size. And if you're curious, like what size is, so more like four inches tall by like an inch. That for me, that's probably a perfect size for wildflowers. So if you have any books that you love using and they have images like 
that size. Let me know what it's called. I would love to know. It's funny because in these books, a lot of times I'll find pressed flowers and I love it. Even this is like a pretty image and would be cute, uh, pretty for like a book page. So this one says wildflowers. Let's see. So again, really big. This is probably going to be a seven by 10 also. Big images, a bit glossy, still very pretty. Okay. I think I just went past a page I really liked, but yeah, I love the daisies, or I guess that's Chris Anthemum, actually. Um, let's see, let's do this one. This is Eastern North America's Wildflowers, 373, 373 life-size paintings. Okay, that's right. I think I did when I was looking. I was kind of Googling each book. It took me so long to order all of these, and they do go fast, especially the flower fairies. So if you see the flower fairy books available secondhand, you got to grab them right away because they go so fast, which is why I was happy to find some on Amazon because I got them the next day. And I, like I said, I have six more coming because I needed like 120 images for my Patreon members. And I definitely spent more money than I should have because I mean, they were like in this five-ish dollar range, I think, four or five, but it adds up when you're buying that many. So anyways, this these have some really, really pretty images. A little bit more like, not cartoony, but what's the word? I don't know, but it looks like then there's lots of just regular book pages, which is fine. I can reuse those easily, but it's something to keep in mind. Then we have hummingbirds and butterflies because I did think it would be nice to um, get something with some butterflies. Lots of really pretty, these ones kind of almost look, I mean, they're, yeah, they're like photographs. They would be really pretty to cut out, turn into journaling cards, or even just use a full page in your journals and there's definitely some florals as well and i think these types of books are really fun as filler pages in journals <clears throat> hummingbirds really pretty very glossy as well but it's a big book there's lots of pages in here okay so then i think the last one that we have which like i said it's a really pretty book and maybe I'll just keep it on my shelf and keep it, but it doesn't really work for the projects I was had in mind because they are little photo albums. I mean, this would be really cute actually now that I think about it. It will be really cute if I had if I put pictures in here like of my garden or something like that, which I don't think I'll have a garden set up this year, but if you've been following me for a while, then you know, I love gardening. I have a passion for it. I do have lots of plants in planters, so yeah, maybe maybe I'll just keep it and actually use it for myself. I probably should. So that's everything. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Again, please just request anything that you would rather have me do a full video just on that book. I'll go through each page for you. Um, I, if I can make the time, um, even though it's not even requested yet, I'm going to try to do a full video on just the flower fairies, and I'll just go through each book and each page. I'm going to wait till I get those um, other books that should be coming in in the next few days. So it's they're probably not going to be up right close together, um, the videos, but should be up soon enough after this one is up. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.